Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Let us have four core missions in the modern battlefield which are suppression of enemy fires, counter battery fires, striking high value targets, breaking up the enemy force concentration and providing the fire support for maneuver warfare. The border tensions with India and China is nowhere close to end and in fact more aggression is being witnessed in the northeastern sector of RSE. Indian Army at present operates nearly 410 Bofors artillery, 110 M777, 100 K9 Vajra, 180 field guns of 155 mm caliber which are upgraded by Israeli firm Soltam. Indian Army also operate 1700 field guns of 105 mm caliber. Recently, Indian Army has conducted exercise Topchi on Sunday. It is an annual firepower demonstration and training exercise conducted at the School of Artillery in Devlali. Indian Army has showcased all of its indigenous artillery firepower during the exercise. The exercise included several big guns of Indian Army such as 155 mm, 45 caliber Dhanush, tote artillery guns, 155 mm, 52 caliber tracked self-propelled K9 Vajra Hovitzers, M777 Ultralight Hovitzers, upgraded Sharan guns, 105mm 37 caliber Indian field guns and the Pinaka rocket systems. Now it's worth noting that 155mm denotes the diameter of the shell and the caliber relates to the barrel length. The focus of the exercise was to showcase the indigenous capabilities and strides made in achieving the self-reliance in defense sector. The 2R display also included the 155mm FH-77 BO2 gun also known as Bofors, 155mm Soltam guns, 130mm M46 guns, Russian origin Grad BM-21 multi-barrel rocket system, unmanned aerial vehicles, Swati, weapon locating radars, mortars, helicopters and several surveillance systems. Now since we are talking about Dhanush, so this one update regarding that. As we all know, Dhanush is a Desi Bofors gun which have been troubled child since its incubation. Back in April 2019, when the induction of this gun started, only 12 of them were built which is far below the number 18 plus 2 in reserve which is required to make a full regiment. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. In May 2022, it was reported that Dhanush has cleared its trial and is ready for induction. Two Dhanush guns fired 90 rounds each flawlessly as a part of second line of firing in zone 6 at Pokhran firing range. Now as per the latest update, the 2nd Regiment of 18 Dhanush gun had also undergone successful trials at Pokhran with a strike range of 38 km. The 2nd Regiment of 18 Dhanush will be inducted by March 2023. The gun cost Rs 14.5 crore apiece. The 155mm 45 caliber Dhanush tote artillery gun is having a range of 38 km. In Burst mode, the gun can fire 3 rounds in 30 seconds and in intense mode, the gun can fire 12 rounds in 3 minutes. The army is also looking for 300 more upgraded 155mm Sharan guns. These guns have been upgraded from army's vintage Soviet origin 130mm M46 towed artillery pieces to 155mm 45 caliber standard with enhanced firing range of 36 km. The army already has three Sharang regiments, it's rising a fourth one and eventually plans is to have 15 such regiments. The upgraded guns having an enhanced range of up to 27 to 37 km and will have a better terminal effectiveness. Besides Dhanush, Indian army is also procuring 100 more K9 Vajra self-propelled Hobbizer and ARM is also looking to induct ATACs by the end of year. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.